You've never done any sailing, have you? What did you call it again? Smog. I see. <laughs> because he's like a dragon. You can hold him if you want to. Are you sure? Yes. Go on. <laughs> I wouldn't let Danny touch him. Perhaps he wouldn't want to. Don't you like him? Well, he's not everybody's idea of a pet. My familiar. You what? My familiar spirit. Like witches have. More exciting than a cat. I tell him everything. I think maybe he ought to go back. Yes, okay. So he knows all your secrets? Yes. He even knows I'm not Liz, really. He knows who I am inside. And who are you? You ought to know. Mary. I mun bide. A lassie cannot turn the tide. Oh, Granny Kempok, send to me a fine wee boat to cross the sea. You ever come across any of those old sailing schooners along this coast? No, really, not anymore. Unless there have been renovated, made into luxury yachts. This one, well, the one I'm talking about, was. Which one? A little topsail schooner called Granny Kempa. There's a wee fishing boat by that name. This one's steel. Built in 1890s. In Greenock, I think. I'll ask around, but I doubt it. It's taking so long. Hi. Hi. Here it is. Hello, Mr. Henderson. How are you, Elizabeth? Oh, fine, thank you. You sail, Tom? No. He just paddles around in the harbor. He's into fishing. Yeah, I go fishing a lot. Are we going out today? If you like. I have a bit to do on the engine first. And yeah, we need some water. I could get it. I'll give you a hand. I'll do it. Besides, I know what you think about girls on boats. Yeah. I'll be down in a minute. What's all this about girls on boats? I used to tell her it was unlucky. You should tell Elizabeth yourself, not leave it to Danny. Perhaps you'll take it better coming from you. No! You're her mother. You must tell her. You're closer to her. She talks to you. She'll tell you how she really feels about us. He's late. Oh, don't worry. Your watch is always fast. And stop fiddling. He'll be here. He never fails. The thing is, I don't know how much longer I'll be here. What on earth do you mean? Do you know if I can get a train to Glasgow tomorrow morning? There are
around pretty often. Why? I have to do a bit of research. And I've been invited for lunch. Yeah, I could come with you. Show you where everything is. No. Hand me that number 10 wrench, will you? Sorry? Well, the Crescent wrench, then. What is a Crescent wrench, for goodness sake? That. That is an adjustable spanner. Not to be used too often, whatever you care to call it. Messes up the bolt heads. You know, I've nothing to do tomorrow. Are you sure I can't come? Quite sure. I see. Cheer up. We'll take her out again as soon as I get this finished. OK? Oh, Alice. I've been looking at some wee flats, and I think I might have found one that I like. Oh, you can't live in your own. Of course I can. And you and Danny will need more room. But there's plenty of room for you. I just assume. Well, don't. We'll talk about this later. If you like. Mum, talk to Elizabeth, will you? I can't. Please. Help me, Taylor. I'll see what I can do. On you go. You'll find your old boat, the Granny Kempock. I don't know. I'm hoping. You said you'd tell me some more about Mary Lamont. What do you want to know? Well, she was a witch and tried to push the old stone into the sea. That's the legend I've read about. There must be more. There is. She was young, not much older than me, and she wanted to go to sea. Father was a fisherman, but it was 1661. They wouldn't let her go. You even know the date. Of course I do. Did you read that? I'd like to borrow the book. I don't know. I don't remember. Why wouldn't I let her go to sea? Superstition. Women, bad luck on boats. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, him. He's a pain. Makeup. Boyfriend. New clothes. That's what's normal for a girl of her age. She's always in some fantasy. Why shouldn't she be different? Why do people spoil everything? You're very cynical for one so young. Here, take this. You have to think what you'll be like when you get to be my age. Don't laugh at me. Or you'll what? Watch it. Hold this steady. Or I'll... I don't know. I wasn't laughing at you. I was laughing with you. Tell me more. 
They said it was unlucky to take a woman out in a boat. It was unnatural, they said. I expect they kept telling him so. His family, his friends. Whose friends? The fisherman who loved Mary Lamont. Nobody else would sail with them. And he wasn't strong enough. He gave in to them. Tom told Mary she'd have to stop fishing with him. No more sailing. No more hauling in the nets full of the silver herring. No more wind in your hair and salt in your lips. You say Tom told Mary? Did I? No, not Tom. This fisher lad. Her father told her she'd need to go into service. He got her a place, he said. Proper women's work. What he meant was a skivvy. Washing pots and pans and dirty dishes. And what then? Oh, she'd marry. Maybe a fisher lad, so she could gather in the mussels in the cold dawn. And bait the long lines and catch her fingers on the hooks till they were red raw and bleeding. And have endless kids, but never go to sea. She would carry her husband on her back to his boat through the shallow water so he'd not get wet. And the stones cutting her feet till they matched her hands. Red Rowan bleeding. But never go to sea. Never to feel the boat leaping under her. Never to feel the freedom of it. Unless he cannot turn the tide. Liz? Liz? I hate them! <laughs> promise. All those wishes. She felt betrayed. She went and tried to push her into the sea. The old stone just stood there. It wouldn't budge. Not magic. Not Granny Kempock anymore. Just a cold old stone with the hardest stone to match. He drowned, you see. Who was drowned? The boy who'd taken Mary Lamont to sea in the first place. He drowned. The boat was lost with all hands. Well, they couldn't blame the poor girl for that. They'd seen her at the stone. 
They'd seen her pushing it. She was different from other girls, so they knew... She was a witch. She wasn't like the others. They had to get rid of her. Oh, God, I do not want that to happen again. Are you not well? I'm fine. I, I don't know what it was. I, every time I start on about Elizabeth, I don't know. You must make her like you, Danny. You know, she's not natural. She's not interested in normal things for her age. Better be getting back. I could stay in the water forever. Nothing matters out here. Come on. It's enough witchcraft for one day. Ready to go, Bob? Liz? Yes, yeah, okay. Aye, aye, skipper. Just looking at your pictures. It was great. I can't describe the feeling on the boat. That's good. You got your trip then. But why are you in here? What's the matter? Well, uh, got something to tell you. What? Has there been an accident? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. What then? It's about your mum and Danny. Yes? They've decided to get married. Yes? So? How do you feel about it? Should I feel something about it? Of course you should. Well, I don't. Besides, it won't happen. I know it won't happen. How do you mean? It won't happen. I just know. So why should I waste my time worrying about it? Yes, but... Oh, don't go! Elizabeth! I'll see you later. Hello. What are you doing? Hello. I didn't expect to see you. I thought you couldn't tear yourself away from Mr. Freedom. <laughs> you don't have to stay then. Maybe. What's wrong, Liz? Oh, nothing much. Fancy going for a walk? <laughs> No, you'll get yourself talked about going on that boat with the American. Well, they want to burn me. <laughs> hey, look. No! Don't touch it! Tom, come away. Why? It's drowned. Drowned? Leave it! What do you mean, drowned? You can't drown a doll. It just looked drowned. Don't go on about it. Enjoy your sail. Mm. Mm. 
Fine. Just fine. I'm getting good. Today, Guruk Bay, tomorrow. Who knows? I'm not in the mood for that. I'm sorry. You know, I wouldn't mind going on that boat myself. You think he'd take me? I didn't think you were very keen on sailing. You don't want me with you. Why not? I just thought that... <laughs> oh, don't be silly. He's too old. He's teaching me to sail, Tom, that is all. Mama's going to get married again. To Danny? Yes. Do you mind? I don't know why she wants to marry anyone again. Anyway, it'll never happen. I'll never marry. Never. Steve to take you out in the boat. Steve? Mr. Lamont. He'll do most things I ask him. Oh, I. Look, I've got to go home now. You coming? No. Are you sure you're all right now? I'm sure. <laughs> 